galaxy's final hope. You know, Robert Langdon is, he's a genius. Symbols are a language that can help us understand our past. Langdon knows everything there is to know about art, history, architecture, geopolitical cultures. So you take some of the brains of Sherlock Holmes and Indiana Jones and it's a combination of the two. Robert Langdon cares about what he does. He's incredibly experienced. He's a Harvard professor, but he does kind of have a superpower. It's called eidetic memory. Demons, omens, codes, monks. He never forgets a thing. Do you know where we are? However, as can sometimes happen to superheroes, that's greatly impaired in this movie. What am I doing in Florence? The police are here to see you. His super intellect is limited in a kind of a you know, disorienting, crippling way. I can't remember anything. I'm having visions. It's the head trauma. His brain is foggy, and all these things that Langdon is supposed to know backwards and forwards, he doesn't. Why was someone shooting at you? I don't know. That forces him to come to terms with what he might actually be capable of, that might not fit into everything you would expect of Robert Langdon. Oh my God. <laughs> 